In this video, we will look at how to use the dig utility in order to do a reverse DNS lookup for various IP addresses. Now a reverse DNS lookup takes an IP address and gives you the corresponding host name. In order to do this, let's find an IP address we can work with. So let's go ahead, use the dig utility. And with the dig utility, let us go ahead and find the name server for google.com. Let's press enter and here we have the name server listed for google.com. Uh, it's ns2.google.com and we can get the IP address from the additional section. So let's paste that IP address. Now let's say if you wanted to trace the name of ns2.google.com from this IP address. The way to do it is first write the IP address in reverse format which is 10, 34, 239 and 216 which is reverse and then go ahead and actually add dot in hyphen addr dot rpa dot right and then actually say that what we want is the PTR record. Press and enter And now if you notice the resolution in the answer section is that 1034.239.216 in iPhone addr.arpa is nothing but ns2.google.com. Let's actually scroll up and verify that this is indeed the name of the server for whose IP address we used. So in this example we can clearly see that with an IP address and by using a reverse DNS lookup by first writing the original IP address in reverse and appending dot in hyphen addr dot arpa we are able to find the host name. Right, let's now go ahead and take another example. So let's say dig dot in. In this case we find that the IP address for iitg.arnet.in is 202.141.80.2. Let's go ahead and reverse that IP. Should make it 2.80.141.202. And now if we notice, once again, you know, the reverse DNS has worked and it actually says that this IP address resolves to iitg.arnet.in. Right, so uh, the main thing we wanted to touch upon in this video was basically how to do the reverse DNS. So let's try another example, securitytube.net. Uh, we go ahead, get the IP address, right, and then we go ahead, do a reverse DNS uh, lookup by writing 50 236, 90, and 69. And then we go ahead, run the query, and we'll actually notice that this resolves to my internet yeah, hosting yeah. internet hosting provider. Uh, and we see in the answer section that uh, basically the internet hosting provider is vader.parcom.net, which is probably a server where there are multiple such domains hosted. Uh, well, that's all for this video. So what we actually saw it is it is possible to trace back a host name from the IP address. In many cases where there is a shared hosting, what the reverse DNS will point to is that one large host where all those domains are uh, sharing their internet presence. That's all for this video. Thank you.